Eric here again. I wanted to share how I solved my desire to automate my chicken door. I was looking around for Z-Wave controlled relays and Z-Wave controlled actuators and whatnot and could find nothing but the Adreno chip or however you pronounce it to program it and a bunch of relays on a board. And if you're at component level, fine and great. But for the rest of us, something nice and simple would work. So I took a Z-Wave controlled smart switch and a 120 volt controlled low voltage relay. It's a double pull, double throw relay, nice and simple. And as you can see, I've got my 12 volts here off my DC power supply to the center two pins of my relay. And then the top one here does an X to this one for the negative. And I have the other side here, the positive coming through here down to this side. So when the relay goes back and forth, the polarity reverses just like this. So if we hit the switch, negative 12 volts, and you can see there goes my relay, or I'm sorry, my actuator, and go the other way, and there it is. And it's just by controlling this relay here, making the, the double hole, double throw relay inside there, low voltage, flip back and forth. And like I said, it's Z-Wave. So Alexa, open chicken door. Chicken door doesn't support that. Oops. Turn on chicken door. Okay. And there it goes. And I can set it to my temperature sensor out in the chicken coop. So if it gets to a certain temperature or what have you, I can have it open or close based on that. Alexa. Turn off chicken door. Okay. So there you go, nice and simple. You can watch the voltage change while I do it. There's my control to my AC relay, low voltage. And again, power to the center. And then when it's in one position, negative here, positive here, and then I cross that. If you can see the red line comes up through here, this way and crosses. over to here. So it does that little X, X width that you'll research and find between here and here is one polarity and here cross it with the wire into here. So you can see my plus comes in right there and my other side comes in right there. So hopefully you can see the cross going on on that. And that's what reverses your polarity back and forth to give you forward and reverse on your linear actuator. So there you go, a Z-Wave controlled linear actuator. My version. Thank you, too.